Oh, dude, you got a gator on. How's it going, YouTube? Before this video starts, I wanted to clarify something based on the title of this. Although I am not a very good kayak bass fisherman, this video is not intended to discourage you from kayaking. To be completely honest with you, I had more fun filming this video than I have filming any video yet this year. Something about kayak fishing is just super exciting, it's very rewarding, and I'm planning on picking up kayaks really soon in the future. If you're new to the channel, make sure you stay until the end. That is when I do a recap over the lures, tactics, and techniques I used in the videos that I'm filming on how I caught those fish. So if you're, like I said, if you're new, at the end of every fishing video, I do my best to go over all the products as well as link them all down below. So if you don't wanna wait to the end, you can go down in the description and find out all the gear I was using. Again, this is not to discourage you from kayak fishing. It was extremely fun. I'm gonna be doing it a lot in the future. If you like kayak fishing, you wanna see more, make sure to hit that like button. If this video gets a lot of likes, then I will make sure to film more videos out of that because I had fun. So as long as you guys like seeing it, I will continue to film it. That's all I've got for you. Enjoy the video. All right, so today's episode might get really interesting fairly quickly. I am actually going kayak fishing for the very, very, very first time. This has been beyond requested for my channel. You guys are always asking me. So before I picked up a couple kayaks, I've got a buddy named James who's got a couple of them and he's gonna let me take one out with him and uh, we're gonna see if we can get into some fish. So like I said, never fished out of one before. Could get interesting. I've heard that it, they are sometimes difficult and so you guys will probably see me struggle a lot in this video, but it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be exciting, and hopefully it will be filled with some fish catches. Enjoy. Thanks for choosing Jimmy John's, what can I get for you today? Yeah, can I get a number four with barbecue chips? Thank you, there you go. Thanks. Thanks. It wouldn't be a fishing of flare vlog without chips on the sandwich. Dinner was good. Headed to the lake. Just made it to the lake. James just arrived as well. Gonna take all my stuff, go throw them in the kayaks. Yep, two kayaks. What, what are these, Hobie Outbacks? Outbacks, yep. Outbacks, Dogs. that's what we're fishing out of today. Ariel. All right, and we're off. I got one. I think it's a pike too. <laughs> oh, he came off. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the way he hit was like just super hard tick. And then I didn't feel anything. He was running at me. By the time I picked it up, he was already like under the kayak. I was like trying to catch up to him. Definitely. Oh, just broke off. Yep, there goes that. Okay, well that's always good. That's pike number two. That one it got me. Keep this up, we'll be out of freaking white chatterbaits. Yeah. All right, James with the first landed fish. I broke off two pike. He's got a nice little bass there. That came on a black and blue chatterbait. Good fish. There's one. Pike. Yep. Oh my. Broke it off? No, he just came off. What the heck? I swear, I'm having the worst luck. Oh, no. S something hit it. Broke. God, dude, 
All right, well, pike for me, zero. There's one, there's one. I think it might be a bass, but. Woo. Yep, got a bass. Woo. I finally caught a fish. <laughs> There we go. First kayak bass, new tech right in the top of the mouth. That's on the uh, white bladed crazy jig. First fish for me going back in the water. That could have been bad. There's one. Got him? Yep. Yeah. Woo! Hey, buddy. Hey. There we go. That is the second bass for me. It's on the new tech. Uh, jig, top of the mouth black and blue, not a bad fish right there, bass number two for me. James got one, race over there and see what he's got. Big, big bass. Is it? Yeah. Hey. Uh, the there you go, let's see if I can get my camera out of this. Three, five, two. Three, seven, seven. Three and three quarter. There you go, good fish. All right. I'm coming. Oh, James got a pike on. Let's see if he can actually land this one. We have yet to land a pike today. James has a big pike on. Look at that. He's got. A, it's hooked on a stick. He's trying to get him. He said it's a big, angry pike. It's amazing how we can lose seven pike but not one doing this. I guess I shouldn't say that too soon. Oh dude, you got a gator on. Oh my gosh. Eventually. Nice, we got big pike right there. We took a while to land, so we're not gonna weigh or measure or anything, but uh, you guys can see it's a beautiful looking fish. There she goes. Nice and dirty, all muddy and wet, but that's what it takes. You have to catch those fish. No, bring a net. <laughs> all right, so what you guys saw is James fighting a pike for about five to ten minutes. Uh, so that's what's been, for those of you guys that are wondering what keeps breaking my chatterbaits off and we're losing big fish, that was it right there. There's a whole bunch of them back here. Um, we got a little bit of daylight left. See if we can uh, scrounge a few more fish before the sun sets. <laughs> Tomorrow. Perfect. Okay, guys, so you know this is a fishing of flare tradition to recap the day and give you tips, techniques, and show you my tactics on what I did to catch the fish. Because I do like to teach, I like to entertain you guys with fish catches, but more importantly, I like to teach to make you guys better fishermen. All right, so I'm going to make this quick because I know this video is probably over 10 minutes and I don't want to keep you any longer. I caught fish on two different setups a jig and a chatterbait. First I'm going to go over the chatterbait and then I'm going to go over the jig. I use the normal crazy jig and the blitz crazy jig. Uh, both work very well. The difference is the shape of the head. Uh, but like I said, I use both of them. Both were either white or white and chartreuse. I was using white and chartreuse until Pike decided to break all of them off. Went to white and that worked too. Uh, the trailer was a small little white swim bait. Uh, any brand will work. For the rod, I actually had a castaway skeleton rod, which they don't make it anymore, but I always say if you're looking for a spinnerbait or chatterbait rod, the castaway Tyrannus spinnerbait rod, it's 6 foot 10, it works extremely well, 
They just got them back in stock, so I know you guys have been hitting me up all the time, asking me when the Tyrannus are going to be back. They are back now. So if you're looking for the rod, that is a great one. For a real 6.8 to 1 gear ratio, I like a little bit like a medium speed uh, for any moving baits like that. And then 17 pound Seaguar Invis X fluorocarbon. For the jig setup, it was a very similar setup. I was using a Castaway Tyranna 7 foot heavy. Uh, you could also use a medium heavy, but I like heavy sticks. And line with 17 pound Seaguar Invis X fluorocarbon as well. I flip and pitch with that stuff all the time. I've never had one break me off. And for a reel, I like a high speed reel with jig fishing because anytime you're jig fishing or fishing plastic, anytime you're flipping and pitching, the only time you utilize the reel handle and like the reel and the, reel and the lure in is when you're getting it back to you and then to make another cast. When you're actually working the bait, it's just with the rod. So the faster the gear ratio you have, the more cast you can make throughout the day, giving you the opportunity to catch more fish. So I liked a uh, push rod at 8, 3 to 1, so anything above 7 would be. Perfect. I was throwing the chatterbait in that moving water that you guys saw. There was like some, I don't even know, some creek, some rocks, something or another going on. Uh, anytime there's moving water, especially in the summer, you want to utilize that because it creates current and it creates oxygen, stirring up the bait fish, cooling down the water temperature, all that good stuff. The jig fish that I caught were pitching into trees and bushes, just your standard flipping and pitching setups. That's about all I got for you guys. I opened a P.O. box. Go check the description for that address if you want to send me, fa send me fan mail. I will be doing an unboxing every week or every two weeks, depending on how much stuff I get. That's all I got. Make sure you leave a like if you like this video. If you don't like it, leave a comment telling me that you don't like it, what you don't like about it, or comment what you do like about it, and uh, what else you want to see. That's it for today's episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Giving you the opportunity to catch more fish. <laughs> well, there's a bug.